guys uh yes different environment for this type of video i know right um one i'm gonna make this video short to the point and very sweet i don't want to ramble and get you guys confused because i understand or i've noticed that there is a lot of confusion <clears throat> when it comes to the order of draw where phlebotomy tubes are are concerned so first of all let me say to say this don't take anyone's opinion or information about the order of draw even mine unless you check out the website for clinical the clinical and laboratory standards institute i'll link it down below but that institute is who puts the order of draw in place for phlebotomy so um research and know what you're doing before you take anyone's opinions now i'm going by the standards from that institute so i'm going to tell you exactly what they would tell you okay so i'm going to jump right in and yes i am at home today guys um we had a storm come through our state city and state and um since i'm indoors i just decided um you know let me make this video don't ask me why I have this stuff at home, but I do, and like I said, I'm going to jump right into it. The first thing I want to say is, if you guys have any questions, and you guys have been wonderful asking me questions, and I do try to bring you the videos to answer those questions, so please um, just keep that coming, and whatever topic you have that I can cover, I'm going to cover it, and I'm getting to it. I have videos lined up for interviews, what should you say, what should you do. Um, all sorts of topics so thank you guys so much for that the first the first thing I want to say or show you is this card from BD BD is um, Beckton Dickinson BD diagnostics and they supply medical equipment and medical supplies for oh gosh probably tons and tons of healthcare facilities they're like really on the top of the list for um, supplies and equipment um, this is a card that I have from them and it is very valuable if you can get them to keep in your pocket or keep on your tray and keep on your purse in your lap pocket or whatever so you don't get confused with the order of draw because the same thing on here is what the um, the Institute I was I mentioned is going to tell you from um, CLSI the same same order of draw so it's standard I'm not going to tell you anything just outside of the box because order of draw is very important when you're collecting um, your blood from patients so you can refer back to my video the colors of the rainbow tag because that was kind of part one I went over a lot as far as the additives and the why you should collect what to before what to so that might have been a little whoo, all over the place so like I said I'm just gonna show you how the order of draw should go and that's with everything including your blood culture bottles so blood culture bottles go to microbiology and they are first blue top is inoculated before the purple top i think there are other color tops um these are the ones we use so make sure you know if there are different colors and i've been with my facility so long so i only know what we have i don't know if that's good or bad but uh, most facilities do have the blue and the purple um, if not, just make sure you understand which is collected first. And there are adapters that you can use for these as well. I'm not going to go over that because that's another video. Today is just what you do first. Order of draw for labs. Blood cultures come first. Your blue top is next. Your light blue top. Not to be confused with the royal blue top. Please do not collect your royal blue top after your blood cultures. You want to collect your coagulation tube so this test comes after this tube comes after your blood culture bottles and I'm digging over here because I have everything set up right here to my left and I'm going through these tubes so your next tube is going to be your serum separator tubes and remember I've always shown you guys two of them the gold top and the SST top because they are what the same tubes they're serum separator tubes they are next what follows the gold top tubes is your red top tube 
and there is a 10 ml red top tube as well so you have two of those one is glass and one is red I mean one is glass and one is plastic so is it still glass I don't have one with me but yeah it's still a, a glass top tube it's a red um, top tube but they do come after the SST tube so are we clear so far I hope so after that you want your green top your light green top or your dark green top okay they come next so go back to the other video um, the colors of the rainbow tag video I'll put a link below and um, because that's kind of part one like I said and I think I discussed the dark no that's in the previous video the dark green top too because it's a special collection too I have to stay focused once I start talking about it too I want to explain more about it and I, I'm getting I get off track so those tubes are next we're just doing order of draw today I'll get to all that other stuff how to process and and all that good stuff so after your dark green tops you collect your EDTA tube which come is your lavender top tube now you also have a pink top tube that has EDT EDTA in it and you have the white top or pearl top we say pearl top some people say white top some clinics facilities say white top just know that white top purple top is the same these come next now because they have EDTA in them it really does not matter which one you pull first um, I would just pull my lavender because that's what I do and then I'll get my pink and my 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 pearl top but they're the same because they have the same um, they're not the same but they're very similar because they have the same additive in them so just know that these three go together that's your next two after the EDTA tubes you have that gray top tube now this is a gray top tube and it may have a rubber top or it may have the plastic top I'm improvising here because this is um, a tube for something else which I'll go over but in phlebotomy as where as far as order of draw is concerned the gray top would come next okay so after you pull that gray top tube there is a yellow top and this is an improvised the tube I'm improvising with as well but it is a yellow top in your blood collection when you're collecting your blood that would follow and that would be your tube after your gray top tube your ACD tube after that anything goes you really don't have to stress over your your royal blue top, your tan to your tan top. Oh my gosh. Um any whatever other color you might have left for blood, you really can collect any way after all of those I've just mentioned have been collected properly. And that guys is pretty much your order of draw. I can't say that there are exceptions. I can say that the tan top tube um, has EDTA in it, and uh, you know that may throw you. But it's not a common tube unless you work, you know, where you're screening kids and or adults on a regular for you know lead exposure. Um, but um, other than that, you know, just follow protocol where you are. But as far as the basic across the board order of draw blood cultures first your coagulation tube your blue top tube I should say your coagulation slash blue top tube your serum separator tubes your gold top tubes your red top tube your green tops come next make sure you're writing this down guys take your notes your lavender top along with your other EDTA tubes your gray top 
just look at the top not that label because this is a different um, tube then comes your ACD tube that yellow top that's your order of draw because everything else anything else you can collect in any order after these tubes after all of these are collected the way they should be collected so I hope this helped if you have any questions please um, leave them below please comment below and uh, you know let me know what you do where you are if there's something that I missed and um, like I said I'm only going by the uh, CSLI CLI C yeah that institution that uh, you know puts this order of draw in place that's what we that's what we go by I also want to say I might have a few of these on hand and even on the back they have the um, the inversion like how many times you should invert your tubes so it's a pretty handy card if you want to contact BD diagnostics I guess they could send you some out I might have a handful if you um, comment in the, in the comment section and thumbs up I can um, try and send you one or two maybe um, stick them on a postcard or something because I think I have a handful of them lying around the clinic so just let me know and thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys for being so supportive with this phlebotomy stuff. And um, yeah, I was just felt so out of my element right now just being at home doing this video. But I thought about you guys since I'm inside and um, had this stuff just lying around and uh, decided to do a video for you all. So thank you so much. Let me know what you think of the video. If you haven't subscribed and it's your first time here, please subscribe. And um, to my subscribers, thank you, thank you. Thank you, and um, I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye.